My buddy Oscar recommended that I try one of these. We're gonna test it for the first time. I haven't used it yet and see if it'll spool, make things a lot easier in spooling my, my reels. Doesn't matter if it's a bait caster or spinning cast. Uh, we'll go test it out real quick and see what, what it does. You unscrew this, take that off. It is adjustable for bigger spools as well. Put that like that. Put that washer on, put the spring on. And then you can snug it. We'll have to test the snugness of it. I like to spool mine with some that spool being tight and not spin freely so it's not let's see we'll try it tight like that this is my first time to use it so we'll that's actually pretty snug might help if i put the reel on the rod first I think it's gonna be a lot easier in the way I've been doing it. So we'll go ahead and put the line all the way through the, the rod eyes. It's not the best lighting right here. Dang, how many freaking eyes are there? <laughs> Little tip that I do, I put some Gorilla Tape as a backing. And then I scar the Gorilla Tape so it's kind of sticky. And I don't, I have never, have yet to have any ghost drag, as some people call it, meaning that your line is spinning on the whole spool. And seems like your drag isn't working when actually it's just the whole spool of line spinning. All right, here goes nothing. First, you gotta untangle it. <laughs> Let's see if it's gonna be tight enough. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Working pretty good. <laughs> the important part is getting, making sure to keep your rod tip straight towards the spool. So it goes on nice and even. And it is. Sometimes the way I do it, uh, it gets a little bit too much line on the top. And that was the problem I was having that's actually that's actually about where I want it I like it just below the uh, angled part of the spool because if you put too much it will cause some issues and your line will, will kind of overflow on the spool as you're fishing so I don't put too much line I probably even put a little bit less than most people do so well it worked pretty dang good i mean it's on there completely even from bottom to top it didn't put more too much on the top or the bottom so that's a good solution so 
let's see, I bought that bigger one for, I mostly use these big spools. They're, uh, what is it, 5,000? 1,500 yards. So they make these thing, these uh, little mechanisms <laughs> in different sizes. They have a smaller one. This is the bigger one, and I bought it because you can use it for the little spools like this one and the big one is what I assumed. We're fixing to test that out. Hopefully. Yeah, it, it'll fit. It's going to be a little snug getting it on there, but yeah. So it fits the big ones too. So that's good. I know a lot of people don't buy these big spools. You save a lot of money though. If you got a certain size line that, that you use all the time, these big spools are a couple hundred bucks, but you save in the long run. So it does fit the little spool and the big spool. So that's the setup. It's just uh, the cool thing about it is it has a clamp and you can clamp it to any table or you know i use this table as a workbench it's not you know my eating table <laughs> so but that clamp can mount to any kind of surface and then it ha you can act also instead of having it up here you can put this up there so if you needed to do it like this on something and have the line spool part up here then you could do you could adjust it like that so that is going to save me some frustration i know that i'll put a link to it down below in case y'all want to get one i do not recommend anything unless it worked good for me so tight lines y'all Pretty red, look at them spots. 